Yo guys, what's going on here? 21st Century Mills, let's bring you guys another video today. In today's video, I believe I got some terrorist gameplay. I believe it's 58 and 18, something like that. It's not too bad of gameplay. It's pretty old though. Because so I have not been able to get my Xbox Live Gold back. Now, it looks like we're actually using the HBR in this gameplay, so we're switching things up a little bit. I believe the HBR is a good gun, but I believe the battle is still just a little bit better. <coughs> the actual topic that I want to talk to you guys about today's video so uh, over the weekend I was watching a video by Hutch and Optic Hex. They do they did a dual call back how they used to do. And they got on the topic goes, is it easier now to become a famous popular YouTuber? And I want to get an exact quote from Hex. He said, the ones that are going to make it are going to make it. And I believe it's kind of both ways. Like it's easier in a sense and it's also harder in a sense. So that's just what I'm going to talk about for you guys today. And first of all, I want to talk about how it's harder. And like uh, we said, the ones that are meant to make it, is, there is some truth in it. But I believe it's a lot oversaturated now. There's so many other people trying to get into it. A lot of people are doing everything they can. And it's harder to be original now. Like back in the day, whenever it's 2009, 2008, or whatever, people were first doing it, there wasn't that many people doing it. Say there was like 100 people. So you had a lot better chance of getting noticed, somebody knowing who you are. And coming across your videos now than the tens of thousands of people actually making videos now. And I believe a lot of them... Uh, don't have very good quality. I believe a lot of the videos on YouTube actually suck. I'm not trying to say anything against anybody else, but I'm just saying my personal uh, preference is my videos are better than most of the videos on YouTube, at least in the gaming community. Was probably most of the other videos, like there's probably 10 videos uploaded on YouTube every second or something like that. It's something crazy. It's not outrageous number. And there's a lot of people that upload like 20 videos a day, like the Let's Play channels and all that stuff. Like T Martin 2, I have no clue how many. I videos he uploads but it's a lot and there's people that do it more than him and there's people that like get zero views on their videos and stuff and another thing how it favors the bigger people for YouTube is like whenever somebody makes a new account they're automatically subscribed to PewDiePie, Jenna Marbles, all those people like that like I'm not sure how many there are because I haven't made a YouTube account in quite some time now but those people are already growing they're not gonna fall off because those people are already subscribed they're not sure what YouTube is they first came across it and the thing I just thought about is how like Google is teaming up to give like three billion people internet or something like that. Like all kinds of people, everybody's gonna have like one download. Which is really crazy. That's changing the world on a grand scale. It's pretty much never been done before. So all these people are gonna be open to YouTube and they've never been to it before. They're gonna come across one of the most popular sites, make an account, and they're gonna see who all these people are. And they're gonna have no idea who the smaller YouTubers are, and myself included. So that's one of the ways. And then if you want to search um, some like tips and tricks for Call of Duty, <clears throat> just as an example, you're going to see some T-Mart, Drifter, Allier video. You're not going to see anybody else, even though their video might be better. I know personally I've made videos, and I'm not trying to be cocky, because people tell me the same thing as well, that you've made videos better than T-Mart, Allier, all those people. And they make a lot of good videos. They're a lot more consistent with it than I can be. So I give a lot of props to them, but... In a sense, I just believe that YouTube is already favoring them just because they're bigger. They're going to be in the searches. Like if some, say the new iPhone comes out, somebody that already has a lot of subscribers, has a dependent view base, is going to get more views just because people are going to be searching them. They, they're going to pop up number one. And I'm going to be popping up on number 10, like on page 10. So a lot of people aren't going to see it as well. So that way, like I try and post my videos on like Reddit and other websites like that and stuff. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about was, well, this, is, this is kind of the last one, I'm going to contradict myself here in a second, but the, a lot of people already have the equipment, you know, like uh, the nigga Higgins, Freddie Wongs and all that stuff, they already have the cool uh, editing software, they already have the $10,000 cameras, they already have a lot of that stuff done, they already have the base. But anybody can go out there and get some amateur stuff. Anybody that has the right amount of money and time and dedication and stuff like that can go ahead and just go ahead and buy a uh, Canon camera or an Elgato or learn how to get Sony Vegas, uh, buy an Xbox One, stuff like that. Anybody, literally anybody can do that almost. If you have the money, you can go out and do it. If you have an internet connection, you can post videos on YouTube. Pretty much anybody can do it. <clears throat> But it actually takes somebody to be a Nate Shot, somebody to be a uh, T-Mart, somebody to be a um, Windsor Redemption, just somebody like that. It actually takes something to do that. It actually takes somebody good to be like Pramaj, for example. 
you know, anybody can just go out there by an Elgato, but you actually have to be good at the game. You have to do all kinds of things to be like a Pomage. So this is where I want to go on the other side of things. And, like, a lot of the groundwork is already done. The community is already set. They already know kind of what the standards are for a video. It's already there. Back whenever it was first starting, people really didn't know what they were doing. It's just kind of a thing that people are doing. And I'm saying thing pretty lightly, because I really don't know how to describe it. But I was there in the beginning, like, whenever people started first getting their machinima contracts, and I was experienced, and I'm like, wow, this is actually crazy. Like, I remember the first YouTuber ever watched was that guy who camps. He was playing Search and Destroy. He went, like... 14 and 2 on invasion or something like that. I'm like, wow, this guy's really good. And then he ended up talking about other YouTubers and he would make videos with them, like Only Use Me Blade included. And then Only Use Me Blade would show me to like Woody's Gamer Tag or somebody. And then I just got uh, across the community. And then before I knew it, people were actually starting to get paid and they post videos on the Shinima Respawn and all kinds of stuff like that. And that's when it already started to build up. And right now, if you already wanted to get into the game and you're knowledgeable of the scene, then you already know what it is. You already know who pretty much everybody is. You already know what it's kind of like to take a video. If you want to learn how to do something, you can pretty much go ahead and search it on YouTube. There's going to be a lot of people that's trying to tell you what to do. That's pretty much how I learned to do everything that I have done through my Sony Vegas and stuff. And a little bit just messing around, me experimenting my free time. But most of the stuff I learned is already there that a lot of other people can do. And, like, the community is there. There's already people on YouTube searching for these videos. There's people that want the commentaries. There's people that want the montages. Whenever YouTube was first starting, we didn't know if people wanted to watch you play, uh, you, um, like, MW2, COD4, or, or whatever. We didn't know if people wanted to see you hit the 720 no-scope um, pistol shot. You know, it looks pretty cool, but we didn't really know if people would end up watching this. It would become as big as it is today. And, like I just said, the audience is a lot bigger. And, somewhat, it is easier to get noticed, because there's so many people. Like, if there's a thousand people looking, and, like, uh, just say, like, there's a thousand people looking f for a, some kind of search, you know, chances are you they might come across to you. If there's a million people searching for something, then you got a lot better chance of somebody actually noticing and finding out who you are. So that's kind of uh, how it's easier to get noticed. Me personally, I just believe that I have trouble getting noticed. I believe my videos have the right kind of content. I believe I do the right kind of things. I always uh, have the Twitters and stuff like that. Like, I'm staying up. I stay consistent. I post my videos in other places trying to get noticed. But I just believe it's actually really hard to get noticed on YouTube. I believe there's so one, one thing that I'm not doing correctly. And uh, I really don't know what it is. Uh, maybe I'm just... Uh, you know, I, I really don't know. It kind of makes me at loss of words for... Why not? But I think it's just one of those things that maybe it'll happen in time, and good things don't come to people who wait. No. It's not like, oh, in good time, everything happened. No. Good things come to people that go out there and fucking get it. So, uh, that's a uh, quote I want to leave with you guys for the end of this video. But maybe it, my time will come on YouTube. I, I don't really know. Just a lot of people think that it's going to, um... And over time, I believe them, but I think I've just grown a little bit uh, skeptical because it hasn't yet. But I'm going to stick with it. I'm not. I'm never going to quit YouTube or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video today. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, like the video, comment in the comment section below if you guys playing on today's video. Subscribe if you guys are around, or if you don't already. But I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a great day, and be happy.